Once known as Old Reeky because of the smoke coming from Edinburgh, now it's got a new meaning. Rubbish piling up as a strike continues. A mecca for maggots, but visitors of the festival finding it hard to stomach. This is the first time I come to Scotland, <laughs> but I saw too many rubbish here. It's a mess. <laughs> I don't approve. She thinks it's terrible and I think people have the right to strike for better pay. So we decided not to talk about it this spring. Ignore it. The walkouts began in Edinburgh on the 18th of August. Now the rubbish is also set to pile up elsewhere. From today, refuse workers at another 13 councils are joining the industrial action. And from Friday, another wave of waste has been collection stop in even more council areas. <laughs> Councils have made a pay offer to those on the picket lines, but it's been rejected by unions who say it's not enough, especially for the lowest paid workers. I think 5% is a pathetic offer. Workers in England, Wales, the North Island are getting almost double, being you know, offered almost double that. I know much support for the, the public. Um, but as I say, nobody wants to strike. You know, we're all losing money, but we're coming out of weather like this, we're still doing it. Unions and councils are meeting with Scotland's Deputy First Minister at a special bin summit this afternoon demanding more money. The government, which put forward £140 million for the latest offer, says the UK government has cut the Scottish government's budget and not adjusted it for inflation, exacerbating the financial situation for both government and councils. Nevertheless, we have sought to do what we can within the resources available to us to support a meaningful revised offer in the face of the cost of living emergency. And how do you feel seeing this? It's, it's a terrible advert for the city, um, you know, to, to people from around the world. Hoping for a resolution, those who take pride in Edinburgh's rich heritage. It is also a kind of public health issue. And, and we need to remember that actually people live in places like this. And indeed, we've seen some businesses actually close. How concerned are you about vermin? This is just such a great free lunch for them. Not so much a feast for the eyes. People will be watching for an agreement to end this. Parts of Edinburgh usually feel like they're from a fairy tale. Right now, the reality is just, well, rubbish. Alan Jenkins, 5 News.